Hi guys! Welcome back to another video with the Sarahs. So we actually just got back from a trip to lovely Utah and we love Utah. It's a beautiful, beautiful state. But one thing that's a little bit <laughs> difficult to adjust to is how dry the desert climate is. It just dried our hair and skin out and Sarah's a little bit used to it. Yeah, I, I used to live in Palmdale, so I kind of knew that I had issues when I was living there actually, but um, with like just the dryness, um, I guess I'm pretty prone to just being like a dry person. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have so, more of a dry skin type. Yeah, so I told her like, get your body butter, get your like hair treatments out, your oils, like sunscreen, all that. Yeah. Like, you're gonna need it. So today we are going to be showing you some of the products that we used on the trip and just our little tips and tricks to keeping your skin and hair beautiful while you're in the desert yeah. and camping. <laughs> and then we're also going to do some beautifying treatments today mm -hmm. because we really need them. And we'll also share a little bit about our trip and what we did. And the funny stuff. Yeah. The scary stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of tea to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess we can go one by one and just tell them some of our little beauty things that we did. Sure. Okay, so should I go first? Sure, yeah. All right, so my number one beauty tip for this trip <laughs> was my silk cap. This thing is the most incredible Thing in the world. I love this one in particular because it has a lot of space for my hair and it's adjustable. So it has this little thing of a jig. You can adjust, make it as small or big as you want. I will link this down below in the description. It's my favorite silk bonnet ever. The inside and outside is both lined with the silky side of the silk. And I wore this when I was sleeping, I wore it when I was hiking. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, I will insert a clip of my little technique that I did with, with this. I basically put my hair in a braid and then I wrapped my ends in the silk bonnet. I secured it with an elastic and then I tucked it into the inside pocket of my jacket and it saved my hair because my hair just yeah. didn't get frizzy. And yeah, it was the best. I also brought my silk pillow camping outside. <laughs> it got a little bit dirty, but it was worth it. It was like white too, like a cream, but now it's, it's not really yeah. <laughs> I probably could have gotten away with just using the silk bonnet, yeah. but you know. And then another very special thing for my hair was this amazing beanie toque that Sarah Ashley bought me. We both have matching yeah. ones. Same color, same everything. <laughs> but it's like a knitted hat and then the inside is the silky material. So oh, we both love those. And it that's nice because like um the reason why I bought this for us is when it's cold, you know, you want to put a beanie on and then it makes your hair all frizzy and yeah. annoying, or maybe you just wash your hair. Yeah. And then you wear a beanie and it's like all like oily or staticky, whatever it is. Yeah. And then this way, like it still stays fresh. <laughs> yeah. So this was a lifesaver. I actually just put would put my hair in a low bun and cover my whole head with this. All my hair was tucked mm -hmm. in. It's got a lot of stretch. And this hat saved us while we were in Bryce Canyon. Bryce is so beautiful. It's unreal. It looks like you're in a completely different world. But the day that we went was so cold, it was snowing, there was slush, and it was actually really funny because Simon... <laughs> everybody was slipping and sliding down the, the hill or whatever it's, it's like called. A, I think it's like a canyon, it's like a, almost like a spiral. Yeah, and then Simon, you know, he was seeing everybody slip and he was like, oh, like, I'm not gonna slip, and then all of a sudden... The <laughs> And his butt was covered in mud. We should have taken a photo. I did. I oh, you did? Yeah, I have a video and photo. Oh. I insert. But this was so nice because it just kept us warm, but it also kept our hair silky mm -hmm. smooth. So, very yeah. good. And you guys, this was actually my first long camping trip. I went camping with G last summer. We kayaked to this little island and spent the night. Um, I actually have a whole 
video on that. It's really cute. So I've really only spent one night camping, but this was like two week camping excursion. And I just, I don't know if I'm cut out for camping. I love the outdoors. I love the outdoors, but when it comes to sleeping, I, I just like to be in my own bed. So this princess over here <laughs> left us in the shaking tent at Hurricane, which is the place, and it was like blowing, and he's like, I need a hotel. <laughs> okay, I cheated one day and got a hotel, but, but it was because I was on my period and I was not about to sleep in a Excuses. windy tent on my Excuses. period. Excuses! Crying, <laughs> crying because the cramps and... Yeah, I just don't I, even use that as an excuse. You know, you just like wanted to leave us in the dust. I, I just wanted that up. hot shower. I just wanted that hot shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, and and I and I wanted the gym. I was like, I gotta, I gotta go get my games. <laughs> One night, okay, I got a hotel. <laughs> don't judge me. Shower twice. Yeah. Well, good night. <laughs> good night you know, morning. It, it was nice. I had my, I had a shower, wash my hair. I can't give her too much hard time because I actually went to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? She ended up coming in the middle of the night. Her and Simon. No, well, you spent all this money on a hotel. I might as well help you enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I love the outdoors, but when it comes. To sleeping I just like to be in my own bed speaking of which this brings me this is a nice transition <laughs> yeah. because I want to give a big thank you to Birch the best mattress company in the world for partnering with me on today's video Birch makes the most amazing the most comfortable non-toxic mattresses ever I've had mine for a couple years now and I'm just so happy with it I recommend Birch mattresses to everybody. I even got Sarah yeah. and Simon one because they're just an awesome mattress. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't realize that your standard mattresses can be off-gassing chemicals that you know could be bad for your health. But with Birch, they're completely non-toxic. They have many third-party certifications to ensure that their mattresses are free from a long list of chemicals, free from formaldehyde, VOCs, all that stuff that you know you just don't want to be sleeping in and all birch mattresses are made in the usa i currently upgraded my original birch to the birch lux and the birch lux is made out of organic cashmere new zealand wool fair trade cotton natural latex north american steel springs the natural materials it's made with are breathable, so it keeps you cool and comfortable at night. And the mattress was designed with breathability and support in mind. And Birch ships the mattress to your door for free if you're in the US, and it just comes rolled up in a box, and it's super easy to set up. And their mattresses do come with a 100 night sleep trial, so you can try it out for three months. And if you're not 100% in love with your mattress, you can return it for a full refund. And the mattresses also come with a 25 year warranty. So if you are interested in purchasing a non-toxic mattress, definitely head over to birchliving.com slash holistic habits to get $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. I don't know why I did this because that means four, but you get two free pillows. <laughs> and yeah, I love Birch. Everybody already knows that. So go check them out, but let's get back to the video. So I'm obsessed with this pump hair care uh, leave-in spray. It's called the, the Mermaid Lynx and it has hyaluronic acid in there. And this saves me because whenever I use leave-in conditioners, my hair feels like it has a film on it or it's like weighs it down because my hair is very fine. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is just like liquid, like literally like water it almost feels like. Smells amazing. And yes. Yeah, and so I put it in a little tiny like travel size um, sprayer so then I don't have to bring the whole bottle. So it's like after I do my shampoo, conditioner, all that, then I put some of that in there and it, I put it in my like little um, hair towel and I don't even detangle it yet and it's just like also just detangles so easily when I have it in there for a couple minutes. So that helped a lot and then... I have this Braggio, it's the Farewell Frizz, it's a serum, so it helps like tame those flyaways and gives me some moisture. 
and I do this on a regular anyways, but, <laughs> but it's, it's really nice because um, a little bit goes a long ways. And then one thing that me and Sarah have been doing yeah, is... Yeah, Sarah actually kind of got me hooked on this. Because, like, I mean, you need deep conditioner, especially in a climate like that. Yeah. And it just makes it easy when you can just buy it pretty much anywhere. So yeah. we got that Shea Moisture. <laughs> and this is the um, Manuka Honey one. And this has been a lifesaver for us. Um, and, like, same with those other products. Like, just a little bit goes a long ways. And yeah. It smells so good. Yeah, we love the smell. And, I mean, it's not, it's probably not the most holistic deep conditioner, um, but it's cruelty free and it has a lot of good oils and as far as I know it doesn't seem like there's anything that's like bad in, in your hair. So you can buy it at any drugstore. And then another thing that saved us on the trip was my Jube Go 2.0, my little portable red light therapy device. This is so mm -hmm. awesome for travel. It's great because you can just do red light therapy wherever you are. Yeah. And I was using it on my face, lighting up the tent with the, <laughs> the red light. Well, I thought we were a UFO instead of the tent. Yeah. <laughs> and I was so glad that I brought this because on one of the hikes we were doing, we had to um, kind of climb across a cliff on a rope and I almost fell to my death. <laughs> and I ended up getting a little scratched up. So I was using the red light therapy every day on my owie to help. You can see they're healing up. And it's crazy because I had, I always wear my um, Audrey Rose Holistic Habits collection rings on my right hand. But just before we did that hike, I switched and put them on my left hand because my hands were a little bit swollen from the heat. So I was like, oh, they'll fit better on this hand. And then I ended up scraping my hand on the That's rock fun. face and I was freaking out after I'm like did I everyone's like oh is your knuckles okay I'm like it's my Audrey Rose my <laughs> I was yeah. more concerned about the rings than my but skin they look like they're they're fine yeah like, there's no scratches that we can see or yeah. anything my poor babies mm -hmm. I'm so sorry High quality this. <laughs> yeah <laughs> But then I was using the red light every day just to help with the wound healing because red light therapy is really great for helping to speed up healing. Mm -hmm. And I used it on my face too and it's also like good for if you have sunburns and stuff. It mm -hmm. helps heal that a lot faster. So another thing that helped us is sunscreen and I, I've been trying a bunch of different types of sunscreen. Like I tried that, what was that one, the Badgers one a long time ago? Yeah. So I tried Badgers, it works, but you're white. Yeah. <laughs> so zinc, it will make you really white. And then I tried um, the Juice Beauty sunscreen, and that one I really liked, but then they upped the price, so it was freaking annoying. So then <laughs> I went on Amazon. A lot of times I'll look for um, baby sunscreen, because I feel like they're usually more natural, um, and it also, also like have the natural ingredients. Um, so I found this one from Earth Mama. It says sunscreen lotion, uh, 40 SPF, and contains organic shea butter and calendula, which I really love. And it does have zinc, obviously, but it's, um, I feel like it doesn't leave that much of a white cast. You just have to smooth it in more. And it's, it's freaking nice. And then Sarah has one that she also loves too. Yeah, so on the trip, I ended up using on my face the raw element sunscreen. So I have the tinted version and the non-tinted version. But the tinted version is a bit too dark for me and the non-tinted version is a bit white. So what I do is I mix them together and then it just blends nicely into my skin tone. And these are really great. It's just made with non-nanoized zinc oxide, a lot of butters, green tea, hemp seed oil, organic coffee bean, um, mango butter, cocoa mm -hmm. butter, beeswax, a lot of good ingredients. These are thicker, but yeah. it really worked for me in Utah because my skin was so dry, so putting um, a heavier sunscreen in on was really nice because it moisturized my skin nicely, and these were just a lifesaver. I love raw elements. You can use them on your face and body. It's my favorite 
outdoor sunscreen. I don't use it as an everyday sunscreen, but for those times when I'm spending a lot of times outdoors, it's my go-to. And I actually like the, the tinted one. I tried hers. That I, I don't think I've ever tried it before. Yeah. Um, but it felt like I already had makeup on. Yeah, it works I, well for yeah. your skin tone. It's like a perfect match for you. Yeah. And then next up, I have these uni shower sheets. They are large body wipes, biodegradable wipes. They're made with natural ingredients. And these were really nice to have because I went the whole trip other than when we stayed at a hotel without having a shower and i know that seems gross but <laughs> I, just, girl. I just used, i just used these because i didn't want to have um a shower at the campground just because she said it was warm water yeah but her warm is my cold so <laughs> yeah because yeah we were in the when we went to the hotel um, she, like, whenever she takes a shower, you know, she's like, little beauty stuff. Yeah. She, she's literally scorched. Like, her skin is red. No. <laughs> when she comes out, like, and I always think she has a sunburn. I'm like, what happened? Are you, you, you got sunburned. And she's like, oh, no, I like to shower real hot. And I, was like, I, I know <laughs> that it's bad for my skin. It, you know, dries her skin out. It's bad for it. But I love having a hot shower, especially when I'm in a cold climate. I just love having a hot shower. But yeah, every time I come out, she's like, oh, are you okay? <laughs> What's wrong? Do you have a rash? Do you have a burn? I'm like, no, I just took a hot shower. And these are what the body wipes look like. They just come in individual packages and you just rip them open. They're so really handy. large. You just go Or like if you go to the gym and then you have to, oh, yeah. you know, go someplace after, if you have a workout, you need to go someplace after, get you some of these, throw them in your bag and you're gonna be smelling fresh. I also like the having like um, baby wipes, and I use this to uh, take off my makeup when I'm camping because you know sometimes it's cold out. You don't want to put water on your face, you know. And we're not really wearing that much makeup since we're going camping. We're just yeah. Sunscreen mainly, and so. <laughs> Again, I go for the child section because they're usually more natural. Yeah. <laughs> so I got them boogie wipes. <laughs> Literally for their noses, but you know. Snot wipes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Snot your average one. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> but, but yeah, they just don't have any like um, scent to them because, like we said, we're a little sensitive to the artificial scents. And I mean, it seems like pretty natural, and yeah, I like them. Yeah, boogie wipes. <laughs> boogie wipes. <laughs> and while we're on the subject of being clean, this came in very handy, my little Dr. Bronner's Travel Size Castile Soap. I just bring this in my purse everywhere because if you use public washrooms or like the washrooms at the campground, they give you that fluorescent weird soap that just dries your hands out so i always just keep a little bottle mm -hmm. of this and then i have my natural hand wash and you can also use it in the shower as your um body wash so you know it's just like a multi-purpose uh soap that you can bring with you while you travel and then lastly the star of our trip <laughs> we have this blue beautify organic cacao body butter and this really saved us on the trip. And it literally smells like cocoa butter. Like <laughs> It has sesame seed oil, jojoba seed oil, coconut oil, sustainable sourced palm wax, cocoa butter, shea butter, and vitamin E. And it's really great if you have dry, cracked skin. Mm -hmm. I was just slathering it on everything, and especially on my hands. And on my cuts, I just keep applying it to my cuts to help them heal, keep them moisturized. And I also use it as a lip balm. Mm -hmm. Really good on the lips. So it's another multi-purpose item. And speaking of lip balm, I have to mention this. This is the Fit Glow Beauty Night Serum. This is the best product in the world if you have chapped dry lips. Even though it's for night, I was using it during the day, I was using it at night, I just kept it slathered on my lips. I don't think I've tried it yet. It is, it is the best product for the lips. It's expensive, it's expensive, but 
if you suffer from dry chap lips, this will change your life. And another product that's awesome for moisturizing dry chap skin is this Egyptian Magic. And shh, because I stole this <laughs> from my brother Simon. I took it out of his bag. He's always stealing my, he steals my toothpaste, he steals my pills, he steals my liposomal vitamin C. So I'm stealing his little Egyptian magic. <laughs> it just has olive oil, beeswax, honey, bee pollen, royal jelly, and propolis. And you can apply it to your nails, your hands, your face, your lips. Another really great multi-purpose item. And a cool thing with that is if you go on their website, they have a whole list of different uses you can oh, do. Oh, that's Yeah, cool. they even say you can put on your, on, I think they said your scalp. I might be wrong, but it was definitely for your hair. You can Ooh. do it on your hair. So I guess we can get on doing our little beauty treatments. So first, what? inside then out. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I actually have something kind of exciting. I'm really excited to try it. This just came in the mail. I've never tried it before. It is the Peak Botox Fountain. It's Botox. It's good. <laughs> oh, I hope not. With one so, letter it is Botox, Sarah. Yeah, maybe they're trying to make it like Botox. Um, okay, so this is for youthful skin and deep hydration. It's hyaluronic acid and ceramides. Um, and it's just a little sachet that you put in your water. Oh, it's made with coconut water powder, pink Himalayan salt. I love trying things with this girl because she always like finds some crazy stuff to try that's really good for you that yeah. I probably wouldn't find. <laughs> so I'll give you one. And I'll take one because you guys, I think beauty on the inside, beautifying <laughs> from the inside is actually more important than beautifying on the outside. I think it all starts internally. It starts with your gut. It starts with all that. So I poured us some water. Yeah, because I feel like also like what you're saying is when you feel good inside, it kind of shines comes outside. through. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oops. So I'm just gonna pour this in. This is the prettiest color. This is my favorite color in the whole wide world. Little spoon, little liquor Oops, spoon. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're seeing first. Oh, it's a little bit sour. Oh yeah, it is a little bit sour. Hmm. In a good way though. That's not bad at all. Oh, it must be the salt, the Himalayan salt. So this has calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, phytoceramide, <laughs> sodium hyaluronate. No. I get so scared of magnesium. I always get in the poo. No. <laughs> I always ask her, like, well, well, you might, but <laughs> only if you have too much. This is okay, right? Which kind of magnesium is <laughs> We're about to go to oh, a dinner party? It's actually magnesium glycinate. This will actually be good for me on my period, because that's really good for cramps. Oh! New product for my daily beauty supplements. And while we're on it, let's do a peek. Let's do a peek vitamin C. Oh, we are just double dosing. This is by the same brand. <laughs> We're just dosing that stuff, Sarah. This is the best liposomal vitamin C in the world. It has elderberry. I love it. It's like my little dessert every day because it's it tastes good. It's sweet. So we can have one of those because vitamin C is so important for our skin. It's you know essential for producing collagen. And uh, elderberries are rich in antioxidants. Okay. So I just go like that. Oh yeah, you don't like doing it this way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Mm. Okay, I'll try to do it that way. Let's see. Mm. Wait, how do you do it? <laughs> you just put your mouth on it and then just kind of yeah, go like that. Mmm. Got it. And then lastly, let's take a swig of pure rose organic rose nectar. This is just organic rose extract and organic rose oil from fresh bulgarian roses one of my favorite internal beauty products ever very rich in antioxidants flavonoids um bulgarian roses are amazing so you know you could be classy and put it in a little glass or shot glass but this is what i do <laughs> just take a swig <laughs> I 
And it's also good to put in like kombucha, like if your kombucha is a little bit lacking some flavor, you splash and it's all of a sudden it's floral. It tastes so good. And Simon's going to kill me because... <laughs> So this is um, also from Pure Rose, it's their Rose Yummies, and this has organic Bulgarian rose oil and vitamin C, so we're going to be double dosing double again. Dose <laughs> vitamin C. You can just have one each, and then... I already had two today, but Yeah, I already had two. <laughs> <laughs> They're so Don't tasty. tell Simon. <laughs> That's the problem, you guys, with these. Like, and I need someone. Heart. I need someone to hide them. You should do little baby heart. <laughs> yeah, I need someone to hide these because I just want to eat the whole jar. Mm. Mm. So now we are going to move on to doing our hair treatment. So what we have today... This is so satisfying. This is like that slime that everybody goes crazy over, but it's like the holistic version because it's just black seed gel. Ooh. Ooh, why does it sound so weird? And if you want to know how to make flaxseed gel, I will link my video on how to make flaxseed gel down below. It's really, really easy. Really good for hydrating the hair. And yeah, it leaves your hair feeling really soft and shiny. And then we're going to apply some of the Blue Beautify Organic Amalaki Scalp Oil Serum. This is my all-time favorite scalp oil. One of... Probably my all-time favorite hair product ever. Really, really good. Has lots of Ayurvedic herbs and botanicals and essential oils. And this way we'll like lock in all the hydration from the flaxseed gel. We kind of learned this idea from Hair Explained on Instagram. Let's do this. Oh shoot. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the stand back of this one, you're gonna get a whiplash. <laughs> We stayed in Hurricane, Utah, very, very windy, and then we went to Bryce Canyon for a day. That was really beautiful. Yeah. And then we went to Zion, Zion National Park. That was fun, but I was so shocked at how crowded it was. Yeah, I Zion was my least favorite because it was just so crowded. I don't like to be around big groups of people, especially in nature. Then we just did some hikes around where we were staying and some of those ones were like in our opinion were like even better than than Zion yeah but I think we if we like were able to go there a bit longer you know like go to different like trails and stuff or like on a off season when there's not that many people it would have been like whoa yeah and then on the last day Simon surprised us and took us to Las Vegas Nevada I've never been to Vegas before. I really had no desire to go to Vegas. I don't, you know, drink. I'm not into gambling. Mm -hmm. But it was kind of one of those things where everybody has been to Vegas except for me. So I kind of just wanted to see what it was like. So that was really fun. We got a really nice hotel room. The bathroom was a dream for us. We yeah. both had our own sinks with beauty mirrors, it had yeah. beautiful tub, beautiful shower. I and wanted to use the bathtub we had at the time. Yeah. I wanted to be able to do a bubble bath because it's such a nice bathtub for that. So that was pretty fun. We just kind of walked around and saw all the hotels, kind of give me an idea of what mm -hmm. Vegas is about. And then the next morning, we um, went to Whole Foods, got some snacks, and then we went to the Valley of Fire, yeah. which is a really cool um, hiking spot. It's a state park. There was like all these like animals everywhere when we were driving. Yeah. Oh, I'll insert some pictures. Yeah. Yeah. We just saw them from the from the car because like you know we didn't want to disturb them. And yeah. Didn't know yeah. We just kind of dangerous. rolled down the window and grabbed a, a shot. Yeah. And zoomed in and grabbed a shot. So that was really cool. <gasps> oh. We didn't tell them the crazy thing that happened. What? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? So we
we were driving to the Valley of Fire, you know, just la da 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 da, enjoying our little snacks that we bought at Whole Foods. <laughs> You know, so just listening to some Lana Del Rey, you know, just living another day of our life. All of a sudden, we hear pop yeah. and psh, the whole car fills with this toxic chemical smoke. And Simon was so amazing, he just pulled over to the side of the road. We all jumped out, luckily we were safe, but the his little dash cam, yeah. I guess the battery exploded in it. So that was crazy. It really so shook us scary. up. So scary. But the insane part about this story is a few minutes before, Simon was like, should I go on the highway or should I take this surface street? Uh, surface street? And he decided to take the surface street instead of the highway. And then that happened. If yeah. we were on the highway, we probably would have gotten into an accident. So yeah, God cause, had our backs. Yeah, because we, we wouldn't be able to leave the video, uh, the vehicle right away yeah. either. Yeah, that was so crazy and so scary. And then we have our lovely kitty cats. Oh wait, I think <laughs> she has the big one. <laughs> <laughs> These are from Thermal Vibes. They are amazing. And you can wash them because that's one problem I have. I get henna on everything. Look at the this. walls. <laughs> this is how, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's removable, the flax seeds. So you just throw these in the microwave, mm -hmm. warm them up. And then so this is I'm gonna try a new way of applying this to my head. Did <laughs> that hurt? You can get really brain dead. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are kind of winging it with our face mask today. We're gonna just add in a little bit of rose powder, a little bit of hibiscus powder, a little bit of aloe powder, mix it up a bit. And then now for the most delicious ingredient. Honey! A dash of rose nectar. This is also good for skin hydration. It's looking good. That looks like a good consistency. Mm hmm. Something happened. I think you have the most fun putting on masks, like face masks. <laughs> this is fun. It's yeah. like painting a canvas. Why do we paint each other? It's so much more fun. <laughs> all this out of our hair, wash this off our face, and hopefully we will be nice and hydrated. So thank you so much for watching our video. We really hope you enjoyed it. We love you so much, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.